In this lesson, we'll go through two examples related to buffer range. Question one reads, which acid is the best choice to combine with sodium salt of its conjugate base to make a solution buffered at pH of 4.25? For the best choice, calculate the ratio of the conjugate base to the acid required to attain the desired pH. So we have four acids here, and I'll write down the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. It looks like this because we'll need it to answer this, where pH is equal to pKa plus log of the base concentration over the acid concentration. And what we're actually looking for is this ratio. So at some point we need to solve for what's inside of this log. The acid that you choose must be the one whose pKa is closest to 4.25. So the closest one to 4.25 is formic acid. So select this one for pKa, which you can substitute into there. I'll substitute 4.25 into here. We have 4.25 is equal to 3.74 plus log of this ratio that we're looking for. Now the fun part begins. We will solve for this part. I'll take this number over. 4.25 minus 3.74 is equal to log of base over acid. I'll just write down B over A. And subtracting the numbers on the left, 4.25 minus 3.74 is equal to 0 0.51. 0 0.51 is equal to the right side. Now to solve for this ratio, I'll have to raise both sides of these equations as powers to the base 10. And the reason why I'm choosing the base 10 is because we have a common log here. Common logs, we don't write the base down, but it's 10. So when you raise it to a base of 10, this and this cancel out, leaving you with 10 raised to the power of 0 0.51 is equal to the ratio that we're looking for. Base concentration over acid concentration. Using our calculator, 10 raised to the power of 0 0.51 gives us 3.235. And we need this to two significant figures after the decimal place, so we'll round it to 3.24. 3.24 is equal to the ratio that we're looking for. Let's move on to question two. Which acid in the question above is the best choice to create a buffer with a pH of 7.35? So this time we will replace pH with this number, and we've been told that we have 500.0 milliliters of a 0 0.10 molar solution of the acid. What mass of the corresponding sodium salt of the conjugate base do you need to make the buffer? So let's write down the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation again. pH is equal to pKa plus log of the base concentration over the acid concentration. And We've been given the pH of 7.35. Once again, we have to choose one of these acids that is closest to the pH. The pKa closest to the pH is this one right here, hypochlorous acid. So I'll substitute 7.54 into where I see this. Plus log, and let's see what they've given us here. They've given us the molarity of the acid. So I'm going to replace 0 0.10 into where I see acid, leaving us only with the base that's unknown, its concentration. Now let's go ahead and solve for B using the same technique as before. I'll take this over, find their difference. 7.35 minus 7.54. That gives us a negative number, negative 0 0.19 is equal to log of B over 0 0.10, raising both sides as powers to the base 10. That cancels out. 10 raised to the power of negative 0 0.19. We need this number to two significant figures after the decimal place. So I'll write down 0 0.645. I'll leave a few numbers is equal to, and I'll round at the very end. B over 0 0.10. Now I need B on its own, so I'll multiply both sides by the factor at the bottom. And we're good to go after this. We found the concentration of our base. So I'll take this number and multiply it by 0 0.10 or 0 0.1, same thing. 
and I end up with 0 0.06. So the base concentration is 0 decimal 0, 6, and rounded to two significant figures. Let's write down 5. That is the molarity of the base. Now going back to the question, they were asking for the mass of the corresponding sodium salt. So they've given us 500.0 milliliters. I'm going to take that number, change it into liters, and then multiply it to this. That way I get the moles of the base. We'll need that for later. So 500 milliliters into liters is 0 0.5000. Notice the four significant figures. Multiply to 0 0.065 moles per liter. Remember, that's the same thing as molars. This liter unit and this liter unit cancel out, leaving us with the amount of moles. The acid that we used was hypochlorous acid. We need to find its molar mass. HClO. Its molar mass is 74.46 grams per mole, and you can verify that by using a periodic table. I'll take the product of these two numbers. Remember, right now it's mole and multiply it by 74.46 grams per mole. And watch this, the mole units now cancel out, leaving us with the mass. Using our calculator, 0 0.5000, that's four significant figures. Multiply to a number that is two significant figures, right there. And that's being multiplied to a number that is four significant figures. So our final answer should be rounded down to two significant figures once all of this is done. We end up with 2.4 grams of hypochlorous acid. And there you have it. That is how to solve two problems related to buffer and buffer ranges.